Hey everybody, it's Moose here, and today I have another interview for you guys. I'm here with Mag Studios, and uh, he is a stop-motion animator. One of his most popular films right now is his Nightwing stop-motion called Nightwing Out of a Shadow, and his latest stop-motion he made was Punisher Dead Man's Hand, and it, they're all really great, and I highly recommend you check out his channel. And thank you for joining me, Mag. Really appreciate it. Um, it's an honor to, to be here, Moose. Uh, I'm, I'm really uh, honored to be interviewed by you. Uh, I have seen all of your interviews. Thank you. In the past. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm just honored to be here. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad that you're a part of the show, man. All right, so I guess the first question is pretty simple. It's uh, just what got you into stop-motion animation? Was it somebody in particular that got you into it, or did you just... Was it a movie or, or was it TV or anything? Like, what got you into stop motion? Um, well, first, uh, I know I, I seem new to stop motion because I, I just recently started uploading. But I was actually uh, inspired back in the day with uh, Captain McKay Random's mm. X-Men Brotherhood series. Right, yeah. I love that. As series. well as Raw raw one universe's uh eternity crystal saga those oh were, yeah 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 those were those were actually the uh the first you like online stop motion films that really got me inspired to start doing it myself but of course movies like nightmare before christmas and Coraline, those because those are you know full full-fledged films and i really love that style of just continuous uh photos making motion so i started doing it about seven years ago and i finally just got confident enough in my craft to start uploading all right i i really feel like with your your uh animation style and everything and all, all your you know your, your dioramas and also with uh uh, just your animation in general, I, I can tell within just the... Uh, I haven't seen all your videos, but I've seen a big chunk. And I can tell that you've improved, improved more and more. And uh, and I really think you are improving on your craft and just uh, doing nothing but going up from here. And uh, so I guess speaking of your projects, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what... Uh, what entirely what not entirely what made you uh want to create nightwing out of a shadow like it was there a story in particular or did you just like yeah i want to make a nightwing stop motion and is there and if so uh, uh i mean like if what exactly made you want to do it that's the, that's basically i'm just asking the question i cannot talk today so i apologize <laughs> hey, it was, it's all good it's all good um well, what inspired me to, to make Nightwing out of a shadow is because I've always loved the character. You know, I've always loved Dick Grayson's role in the Bat family as sort of the older brother to all of the other sidekicks mm -hmm. and eventually becoming, you know, Batman's equal in a sense. So I, I, I would always uh, look up on YouTube of other characters uh, for stop motion, you know, just see ideas that could pop into my head. And I typed in Nightwing, and surprisingly enough, not a lot of people, you know, make Nightwing stop motions. So I was like really curious uh, what I could bring to the table because I'm known for more of my, uh, the darker type, you know, Christopher Nolan esque type of uh film for stop motions you know mm -hmm. that dark presence right so it really got me inspired to start writing the script for nightwing out of a shadow and i always wanted to do a earlier dick grayson like him just getting into the role of nightwing so that's what i based it off of and i'm really happy with that film mm -hmm. i really like that film that was actually um one of my first videos I watched from you, actually, uh, I really, I think that's one of my favorites so far. I mean, other than the, the Punisher video, uh, I, I just want, also wanted to know, like, if since you, I can tell you really are passionate about uh, the Batman character and the Batman mythos, is there any other uh, 
characters you want to make stop motions about, or you you're gonna play a Mega Batman series in the future, or <laughs> so, something like that. Okay, well, uh, I gotta tell you a funny story, and a lot of uh, the stop motion animators that I'm cool with right now, like uh, JH Stop Motion Studio, shout out, and uh, Binks. They are, they're pretty pissed at me because back in the day, I had this idea to do a full-fledged Batman series. It was called Watchful Protector. I had the whole script written out. I even had a trailer for it on my YouTube. But I never released the first episode, the pilot. Mm -hmm. And the the reason for that was all because I did not have a Joker voice actor that sounded similar to mark hamill it was really bugging me so gotcha yeah and it was like an 18 minute long pilot um so what i decided to do was just just to get you know some of my work out there i went straight to batman versus bane but now that i'm I'm more established and i established a uh storyline with nightwing versus uh i mean nightwing out of a shadow I have plans to do a Batman film with uh, Tim Drake Robin as his uh, sidekick, Mm -hmm. and that will be my next film after Batman vs. Jason. So, very excited to do that. It's going to be a uh, uh, more experienced Batman a little bit later in his years, and that's why Tim Drake is going to be Red Robin in this in the uh the next film Mm -hmm. and the main villain um i i post this a lot on my instagram he will he is going to be a clay face Mm, so very excited uh it's gonna be like in my uh dc universe it's gonna be like batman's first encounter with Clayface. so he's not gonna know how to stop him he's it's gonna be a whole detective story at the same time of batman trying to figure out who Clayface is. And that's why it's going to be called uh, Batman Imitation Game because Clayface is going to, you know, take take the shape of a lot of different characters and so can't wait to get that out. Right, right. Yeah, I, I like that. I, I Not a lot of people use Clayface or utilize <laughs> Clayface, so I think that's really cool that you're making them a main villain. And I, I, I think that's really cool. Yeah, uh... A lot of people they 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 tend to always use like the mainstream villains like Joker, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I feel like he's getting a bit overused in pop culture. So Batman has the greatest rogues gallery. You know, I'm saying it in my opinion, he has the greatest rogues gallery. And there's so many unique villains in there that just don't get the amount of attention that they should be getting. So me personally, you know, with Nightwing out of a shadow, I threw in Great White Shark in there. And he's one of the more unknown Batman villains. Um, And this next film, uh, I'm just going to say the other villains that will be in the film now, uh, just to give you guys a little sneak peek, there will be uh, Firefly and Killer Moth in the next film. Uh, You know, two villains that don't get that much attention either, so I'm very right. excited. Right, I remember you mentioned that to me. I thought it was really cool that you're using Killer Moth, because not a lot <laughs> of people, I don't think a lot of people know who even Killer Moth is. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I really, I think what I, what I really like about, uh, what you've been telling me about your stories is that you, I can tell you really care about the Batman character and other characters that have been associated with Batman, like, you know, like, uh, Tim Drake, you know, Nightwing, and, uh, you know, another using, and also utilizing all these other smaller villains to more establish Batman's rogues gallery, which is something I can, I feel like I can really appreciate. And, uh, I, I can tell that, you know, based on, from your other videos, you are, uh, primarily a DC fan. So, uh, I, so, uh, I also want to know, is there any other properties from DC that you would like to make? And if so, what characters would you, would you like to make? Would you like to do something with Superman? Would you like to do something with Green Lantern and the Flash? Or maybe a smaller characters like Blue Beetle and Booster Gold? Like, 
Is there anything like that you'd like to do in the future? Okay. Well, as of right now, I have a whole timeline, you know, mm-hmm. on on my uh on my computer of films that that will be taking place within the next year. 2028 is going to be a big year for for my channel because I am planning on doing a uh a whole build up to a Justice League film mm. which will it'll be the culmination of all the way to the beginning of sorry if you could hear that. No, it's no big deal, no big deal. Um but yeah, it is the culmination of from Nightwing out of a shadow to when I actually start Justice League. And all my DC films will be taking place in the same universe. There's going to be, everything's going to be canon. So Flash, definitely, definitely uh, have plans to do a uh, film about Flash, as well as Green Lantern and a Superman film as well. Okay. Yeah. I really and, would like to see how your uh, your style, if your style would change in terms of tone and in terms of looks and, uh, you know, in terms of, because also with your lighting too, you, your lighting sets a, a mood. So I would be really interested to see how you do something that's more bright and colorful and something that's not monotone and dark. Um. Yeah, I'm really excited for that too. It's gonna. It's definitely gonna challenge me to from what I'm used to filming because I am used to filming. You know, dark. Like you said, you know, mood. Like very more serious tone films. Um, and that's like where my comfort zone is. You know, so when I start doing films, you know, more heroic like Superman. And the Flash. Uh, it's definitely going to be a, a challenge at first, but I think I could get the hang of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's definitely going to take a lot more research uh, on the characters. I, I like to do a lot of uh, prep work before I actually start writing the script. You know, get to know certain characters that I want to use and how they interact with the main character. Um, really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to, to pump these out. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see what you... Uh... Whenever you uh, get these videos out, whenever you start production, I'm I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, what you do going on forward. And uh, is there also because uh, I don't know if you're interested in Marvel stuff or uh, have you thought about doing anything Marvel related? I am a okay. It may appear that I am a you know more of a DC fan than Marvel, but in reality. I am more of a Marvel fan than DC. <laughs> um, it's just with Marvel, so many people do Marvel stop motions nowadays. Mm-hmm. And my thing is, is that I try to be different. I try to, you know, provide a sense of something new and something refreshing that people watch rather than, you know, watching a Spider-Man stop motion uh, or, you know, Avengers. I, I try to go more of a unique route with stop motion so that's why i've been doing more uh not as popular characters you know punisher uh that is the first in hopefully more of my marvel films Mm -hmm. but i I do have plans in the future to tackle a uh a spider-man film (laughs) Mm -hmm. as you know he, he is a character that is animated with a lot so I definitely want to give it time before I I attempt that, but I have the uh, the Mayfex comic book Spider Man, and all my films are not based off of you know movies. They're not off like the, my Marvel films wouldn't be based off of the MCU, except for Punisher because that was kind of like a little homage film uh-huh. because you know that series is done now. So. Yeah, everything is going to relatively stay comic book. But, yeah, I do plan on tackling a lot of the Marvel characters very soon. Mm-hmm. So, uh, speaking of with uh, with Punisher, um, I, I don't know if you mentioned to me, but I, I think uh, I got the impression that there might be another one that you want to work on with Pun- another video you want to work on with Punisher and if, if is that the case would you like to make a sequel to 
them in hand, or is this just a one one and done kind of thing? Um, I would definitely be open to the idea. Now, the thing with Punisher is that that film was is meant to uh, branch off into a few other uh, sort of tie-in films like Daredevil. I had plans for, uh, I was going to have my Spider-Man film tie into it and sort of do a Marvel Knights Uh film down the line, you know, as a kind of culmination. Because I always liked the city-level heroes and the city-level characters. Um, Ever since I was, uh, you know, small, I, I always liked those batch of characters. And to do a stop motion film based on that and have it a little bit more dark and gritty than, you know, the average superhero film, uh, I, I would love to tackle that mm-hmm. one day. I, I think uh, what I really would like to see personally is uh, uh, I, I really like you to do something like uh, more of a villain's perspective. I think you would do really great with that. Uh, mm. I, I, I don't know if you would be interested, but I think maybe like if you did a star motion film uh, where you can include a hero of the like their arch nemesis, but it's more the perspective of the villain and like, yeah, the main focus kind of kind of like uh, and I know like Joker just you know with Joker doing the whole thing of uh, <laughs> doing something from a villain's perspective, I, I think you like, that kind of proves that something like that can work. So if, like if you were to for example do a story of Bane and do like from his origin and then slowly build up to him proving he's the best of of the best and then okay. him at the end uh and this is something that I just just threw out my ass just now where uh <laughs> at the end of it he faces up Batman he wins and then you know you could kind of leave it open ended from there and then, you know so okay just something like you can use uh, so yeah. if so, so guys, listen. If he uses that in the future, you can know it came from me. So oh, uh, I will give you, <laughs> I will give you a shout out in the. Uh, I'll put you in the cast area. I'll definitely put you as executive producer and right, you awesome. know co-director. <laughs> awesome, hundred um, percent. I, I, with me, I always tend to give credit where it's due, right. and I always love to thank you know everybody that watches my videos and everybody that gives me the support. And the ideas and the inspiration just in general from the community, because I'm relatively new to this community, you know, as a filmmaker. And I I see all of us as directors, not stop motion animators, because we make films, you know, we make full fledged story films. And I, I just love this community so much. And I've been a part of it for not too long, but very happy to be here <laughs> yeah well I'm, i think i'm i'm happy that you're here too i'm happy that you're a part of this community and uh speaking of the community that leads into my next question is uh you you're friends with a lot of uh different people in the community and uh including myself and uh i, I just want to know if you'd be willing to uh to collaborate with another creator that's part of the community whether that's writing or doing something with animation wise and if so who would you collaborate with okay so i've been getting this question a lot lately a mm-hmm. lot of animators have been coming to me for uh, collaborations and with me as of right now uh i want to establish my my own universe before i start doing animation collaborations mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but story wise uh script writing wise i am always open to help other animators any way i can because i i just love to see what other people bring to the table in terms of stop motion and right. filmmaking but for animation wise and doing you know film collaborations with other animators um i would say give it about a month or two month or two two three months uh i'll definitely be try to pump out stuff with other animators most definitely awesome. i just yeah. yeah i just really want to establish my uh my dc universe right now i get you yeah yeah but i'm definitely open to the idea 100 percent. yeah and uh i also just wanted to know more about uh more about batman versus uh jason so you, we, we <laughs> talked a little bit about it uh before the interview started and I, I just wanted uh, for the people to uh, to know is just uh, 
is there anything that inspired you to make Batman vs. Jason? Or is it just, or you're just like, oh, I just really think these characters would really be really good together? Okay, so what inspired me to do Batman vs. Jason? Now, uh, animators like JH Stop Motion uh, and Binks, they, they're they heavy with uh, the horror stop motions. And every time I talk to them, you know, they always, you know, they're slowly convincing me to attempt it. And my brother about... Um, less than a week ago uh came to me and showed me the uh jason part four figure right and i just love the look of the figure and it just immediately popped in my head how cool would it be you know for a, for batman to go up against jason because it's doing something that i'm familiar with at the same time but mm-hmm. also going into a completely different genre because batman i'm i'm familiar with animating with him i know how he moves i know how he interacts with characters but jason being a horror movie character i feel like it's something refreshing to me than what i'm used to doing Mm -hmm. and it's definitely a challenge because the NECA figures they're they're not the best in articulation but they're really good they're really good but for a character like jason you know he's he's like stiff and he's sort of like a zombie at this point of the film He's in his uh, part six and up stage, so really excited, yeah. Uh, but I, I've been watching a lot of the Halloween films recently, as mm-hmm. well as getting into the uh, getting into the uh, sort of festivities of this month. Gotcha. And I'm just really I I, I wanted to contribute something because so many other great animators are. And I I wanted to do my part in that. Um, So, yeah, I came up with Batman vs. Jason. And it's going great so far. I I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm so hyped. Yeah, that's great to hear. I'm glad it's going well. And, you know, I I, I really think it's awesome that uh, when talking to a lot of my uh, other animator friends, I was expressing how I think it's really cool that there's a lot more people, like being towards yourself and then, uh, a, a close friend of mine, MM Animations, um, he, uh, you know, they, we do like, uh, they're doing a lot more horror stop motion, more horror stop motions are being more, uh, being made more. And I think that's really cool to see, especially, you know, like people like doing a lot of Halloween, Friday the 13th. I hope yep. more people do small stuff like, uh, you know, uh, like there's, a, uh, another animator, uh, JH Stop Motion. Uh, the legend. He, <laughs> yeah, he's a really nice guy. Uh, he uh, he did a Chucky one a while back, and I, I think, you know, that's really cool that we're seeing all these uh, versions of stories and newer takes on these characters that, you know, that have been uh, remade and done, you know, reboots of. And I just think it's uh, really cool that there's a lot, knowing that there's a lot of horror fans out there that, that are stop motion animators and can bring these characters to life in their own unique way. I yeah, I, I completely agree. I love the fact that, uh, like you said, a lot of people are getting into it, uh, me included. You know, I'm not really used to doing horror films like that, but I I'm really excited to uh, to see what everybody else has to present mm-hmm. uh, because. Uh, I, I love to see creativity in stop motion, you know, story wise, um, dialogue wise too, you know. So I I can't wait for uh for Halloween to see what everybody has to put out and afterwards too. Yeah, uh I, I think uh what I what I also like about uh about mixing concepts and, and concepts in general yeah. Is uh, I hope more people like see your video for Batman vs. Jason and get more inspired to do mix matches and uh, different concepts like that. Uh, you know, like because there was a a, a comic so I, from DC. You know, like from Batman vs. Alien, Batman vs. Predator, uh, Green Lantern yep, vs. Uh, you know, Dark Horse. Yeah, uh, you know, Green Lantern vs. Predator. You know, like I I hope that there are more 
uh, people out there that do stuff like that. You know, like uh, like like myself, like I'm doing Batman versus Pennywise, and that's the most fun I've had writing a story in a long time. Uh, you know, I I really think uh, finding that sense of creativity and uh, and and writing and writing uh, these different properties together can really be really uh, fulfilling in terms of animation and in terms of finding your uh, what is it finding your your passion for making something where nobody has seen something like it before. So I, I think with uh, your your uh, animation for Batman versus Jason, I think uh, it was going to be really, really cool to see these two fight each other and see how that fight plans out. Um, yeah, I'm... Oh, my fault, my fault. You were still going. <laughs> I accidentally cut you off. Sorry. Keep going, keep going. Oh, Sorry. no, that's all I was going to say. I, I was just going to... Oh. No, I'm good. Uh, I was I was, uh, I was just gonna ask you just two more questions here, and the uh, second question, uh, well, first question is initially uh, just uh, what do you see yourself with your channel going out forward, like uh, for your universe and for every other stop motion you have planned. Uh, do you see yourself um, with stop motion? Uh, do you see yourself like uh, within this this ending year and this going on next year? Uh, do you see yourself pumping out stop motions like every every couple months, or do you just see yourself like doing it whenever you can? Uh, like I just basically how uh, how seriously you're gonna take this? You know, just because you know stop move with the stop motion. You know, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of energy. So I, I just you know I just want to know just uh, uh, what how do you see your your channel going or going on forward? Um. Well, I hundred percent plan on I I take this I take all my films seriously. I make sure that I put a hundred percent effort into every film that I make. Um, going forward, I plan on doing the same thing, and I plan on pumping out stop motions every every like at least twice a month i i try and pump them out mm -hmm. and you know they do take a lot of time especially like you know 10 13 minute stop motion films and that time and dedication at, at the end of the day it definitely pays off 100 percent because you know i love to get the feedback from the community and i i do hope to you know get more of a following um and get more support from, you know, other fellow stop motion animators. And I believe I could do that 100%. Um, it just takes time and dedication. So that's what I definitely plan on doing. Uh, this next year is going to be a big year for, for the channel, especially with all the up and coming projects I have. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to, I'm get definitely, my hands are going to be full this year, <laughs> this, this up and coming year. I'm definitely... Uh, in terms of uh, stop motion, I'm definitely going to be at. It. I'm definitely going to be a, uh, you know, hard at it. You know, mm -hmm. hard working. Yeah. So yeah, and I can tell that you put a lot of like time and effort into each video that you make. So um, I, I really, I really do wish nothing but the best for the rest of your channel and for you know for you. Um, so I guess my last question is: is just what you want to say to your fans and supporters. Um, I, I just want to thank everybody that has been supporting the channel and, you know, giving me the great constructive criticism. Uh, I accept all criticism from everybody. I take everything into account. I listen to all the fan suggestions and the advice as well from other fellow stop motion animators. And I just want to thank everybody that has taken the time um, to watch my stop motion films thus far and... I definitely want to say stay tuned because this channel has a lot, a lot more to do in terms of what I want it to be and what it could be. Because right now I have so much potential. Everybody tells me, um, all all of the uh, my the fellow animators that I've talked to, you know, they they always tell me that I have so much potential in to you know be a great stop motion animator, and I I see myself 
right now as you know bottom of the board working my working my way up Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so right yeah sky's the limit right now and i'm only gonna get better at you know animation and cinematography because i take those very seriously in my films so i i'm only gonna get better the uh the more i keep at it and the more films i pump out for everybody so yeah definitely stay tuned because this year coming up is going to be a big one yeah, I'm excited to see what, like, from this whole interview, I'm very, very excited to see what, what you come up with. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's that's about it. Uh, just thank you for joining me, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Moose, big fan, bro. I, I, I'm i I'm very honored to to be interviewed by you. Uh, I, I was on live stream the other day and uh, on War TV's live stream, and he, he said that you're like the watcher out of all the stop motion uh, animators. And yeah, I, I'm just really honored. I'm really honored. Uh, yeah, you're you're a great you. guy, man. Um, I definitely uh, look forward to chatting it up with you more. For sure, for sure. Uh, thanks again for joining me. And uh, thank you all guys. Thank you uh, for watching and listening to this video. Uh, if you guys want to check out more of my interviews, there will be, uh, just check out on my channel. There's a whole playlist of all of them. So. Highly recommend you check out those, and please check out Mag's channel. Uh, links to his Instagram and his YouTube channel, and any other social media that he uses will all be in the link. Will all be links in the description below. So please check him out. He definitely deserves more subscribers, and definitely deserves a lot more. You know, just deserves a bigger following. So please check Much him love, out, bro. Uh, thanks again for joining me, man. Yep, no problem, Moose.